Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm here to talk about manga again. So, we have four more to talk about. This time, there are two that are isekai, and two that are just fantasy. Uh, regardless, the whole theme for most of them are that they're just fantasy. Uh, they're taking place in a fantasy world like an isekai normally would, which is why I'm reading them, of course. So, without further ado, let us begin by talking about... Da, 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 da. The Lonely Attack on a Different World. So this is our isekai. Um, this one is very long. It currently has 100 chapters, and it updates basically every week, if not two times a week. But it is still ongoing. Very long, very great. So here's kind of what you can see in the manga. And it takes place around this one guy, uh, Haruka, who he's kind of a loner in his high school life, and his entire class gets uh, isekai essentially. And what happens is he tries to hide because he's like, nope, fuck that, I don't want to do this. So he tries to hide in the ceiling uh, as he gets isekai which causes him to be delayed. And the way that it works in this uh, scenario with being isekai is it's first come, first serve for skills, stats, and abilities. Um, so everyone else gets to choose their special abilities, Meanwhile, he gets stuck with, you know, kind of shitty abilities, because that's what's left. <laughs> so as you can see here, they're being uh, isekai, and he's like, nope, fuck that. Tries to kick open the door, but they won't open. So he's like, fine, I'll just hide in the ceiling. And then in the end, it's just a blank void. And then he's like, well, uh, did I fucking die? And then this old man comes out. And he's like, hey, what are you doing here, you goddamn bastard? And so, like, this all kind of carries on. And he's like, well, here's this various stuff you can choose from. Here's all these skills. As you can see, here's these. And uh, all this stuff's currently set. Everything that's blacked out, he can't choose from. So he can choose to be villager set A. And he can have contact lenses. And he can learn cane arts. Among other things, such as uh, health, walking, exercise, sensitivity... Uh, temperature, packing, weight, movement. Very, like, unnecessary weird things that, like, doesn't even matter. Uh, also, unproductiveness, uh, uselessness, uh, a neat and a shut-in ability. So he did get some really shitty skills. And uh, because he wants to, like, make it up to the guy, uh, the old man who summoned him uh, gives him all of the abilities that are left over. So everything that's useless and everything that's good, he gets. And essentially, it's a story of him being like, well, I guess I'll just live a shut-in, neat life. <clears throat> and he does that for a while. Then he meets his classmates. Some stuff goes down. And uh, essentially, it ends up with him having to uh, save them. And, well, some uh, some stuff goes down. Yeah. It, it becomes more of like a him being quite overpowered kind of thing, uh, as most isekai end up being. But uh, it's quite interesting on the way, and there is actually, like, loss and stuff. Like, people actually die when they are killed. Um, it's a very interesting story. I recommend it. Uh, so, like I said, 100 chapters currently. It'll keep you reading for a while. Definitely check it out. Let us talk about the next one, <clears throat> which is the other isekai we're talking about, and that one is the reincarnated as an aristocrat with an appraisal skill. This one currently has 48 chapters. It seems to be updating relatively weekly, uh, maybe bi-weekly. Uh, it's still ongoing, though. So, it's a story about a guy who gets reborn as a aristocrat's family. Um, here you can see, like, the uh, cover and all that stuff. So he was, like, a, uh, a businessman. And he essentially, you know, dies from overwork, essentially. He, like, collapses here and then gets reborn. And he can't understand the language, of course, because he's still a child. Um, and then stuff happens, and, you know, there's, like, a flying dog for some reason. And there's, like, this cute maid who's here. And he sees his reflection, and, oh, God, he's a baby. And he's like, oh my god, I'm a baby. And then three years later, 
He's a three-year-old who doesn't look like he's three years old. Uh, he's reading, writing, talking, researching, all that kind of good stuff happening, you know. And uh, <clears throat> essentially, he's like a genius. And he can use an appraisal skill to, like, see what everyone else's stats are and all that kind of stuff. He just can't use it on himself. So he has no idea how he looks. Uh, and essentially, if we can scroll down a bit, I can show you what... Here we go. So here's a good view of what he sees when he uses his uh, <clears throat> ability. Um, he can see everyone's leadership, bravery, strategy, politics, their ambition, and then their various aptitudes at, you know, war and speech. Uh, as you can see, this guy, this soldier, he's very good with bows, but not good at anything else. He also doesn't really have much ambition and that kind of stuff. And so uh, our main character, ours, he's like, hey, uh, maybe you should try, you know, using a bow. So he goes over here, talks to him, and the guy's like, fine, I'll do it. And lo and behold, bullseye! You know, and then it's like, oh, that's just a fluke. And then he tries it a gun and gets a couple more bullseyes. And so what essentially ends up happening <clears throat> is ours assembles very good people uh, who are very highly skilled and welcomes them into his aristocratic home as like servants or soldiers and stuff like that. And as the uh, story progresses, it ends up with uh, them having to get involved politically and stuff and all this stuff as he inherits the house and um, kind of that kind of stuff. And they get like really loyal to him because they like, he saves like a bunch of people from like various bad circumstances and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so it's very interesting. He doesn't stay a kid for long. He grows up, as you can see, in the, like if you scroll back up to the first section here, here he has grown up with other people. Also, we have a very cute waifu in this one who, my god, it needs an anime just for her. Uh, she is great. Um, <clears throat> she's a, a witch who has, like, crazy magical powers. She's excellent. Anyway, that's pretty much all for this one. Um, I like it. It's interesting. Check it out. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Moving on. Let me get the next one ready. So this one is all, this one's a treat. Oh, boy. <clears throat> so, this one's just a fantasy, and it is about this, uh, this kid here who just joined the Knights, and this older Lady Knight Captain. It is called, The Older Elite Knight is Cute Only in Front of Me. It's a comedy and a romance. It's also got uh, combat and action kind of stuff like that. Currently, however, it only has 18 chapters currently translated, uh, at least as far as I'm aware of. Um, and it doesn't seem like it comes out very quickly. Uh, it's like every two weeks, you get like half a chapter, essentially, is what it uh, seems to be. Uh, however, it is an amazing plot because, <clears throat> as you can see, she's like, I'm going to repeat that. And uh, so the kid says, I can't hold it in anymore. I want to do it with Captain Karen. Please let me. And so she freaks out. And, you know, she gets like, well, what, 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 what do you mean? And he's like, even though you do it all the time without a subordinate, and she gets like flustered and all that kind of shit. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm just talking about sword training. Ha, 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 ha. You know? And uh, essentially what it is is it's about uh, this kid there's a new knight who, what he aims to do, hold on, I think my, my model broke for a second. There we go. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. I noticed that the eyes kept, like, getting narrow for some reason. Anyway, so it's about this kid who essentially teases this uh, older woman and gets like reactions out of her. It's very cute and very like, whenever you see her like reaction face, it, it's very adorable. Um, honestly, I just wanna see him get married. Uh, however, in the later chapters that I'm currently at, stuff starts to take a tragic or like a dramatic turn and it pisses me off. Um, honestly, I'd be fine if it was literally just him teasing her all the time and there was no story at all, but there is a plot, unfortunately. Um, and so as this 
chapters go by, they get closer and closer and all that kind of stuff. And it's just a very adorable, like, look at this, look at this expression. It's a very adorable uh, manga for you. So if you want to see, like, a, a young kid embarrass an older woman by, like, making her uh, get riled up by doing, like, innuendo and stuff like that, then uh, <clears throat> check it out. It's very great. It'll give you some laughs, and uh, it's very adorable, uh, the faces and stuff that she makes. So check it out. Not much I can say about it, honestly. Like I said, it's only 18 chapters currently, but God, I'm waiting for more. God, I'm waiting for more. All right, so we'll move on to the last one. Na, 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 na. Okay. The last one is, it's a hell of a take on uh, various things. Um, <clears throat> so as I said, we only had two isekais. This one is not an isekai. This one is Prince of Genius, Rise, Worst Kingdom. Yes, treason will do it. Um, also known as the Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. Um, or uh, the, the Genius Prince's Guide to Raising a Nation Out of Debt. Hey, how about treason? <laughs> so, it's very interesting. Now, let me tell you the concept before I start scrolling through here. Uh, I'll, I'll scroll down. It's not always in color, as you can see. So, it centers around this guy here. Uh, Wayne Salem uh, Arbalist, uh, who is the prince of this kingdom. There's his name right there. Okay. And he has this assistant here. And essentially, he's, like, well-known by all, of like, the, uh, the, the soldiers and the guards as, like, this really good prince. He, like, he memorizes all of the soldiers' names, even though there's, like, thousands. And uh, it's insane. However, he has a bit of a problem. He doesn't want to be a prince. He just wants to, like, have a simple life and uh, live a life of luxury and, like, leisure without having to, like, do a bunch of stuff. And so, his goal is to find a way to stop being the prince and soon the king. Because his father is uh, sickly and possibly going to die. Uh, and so, he goes through various different things, trying to, like, get the like other nations to possibly take over the kingdom. And essentially trying to, like, sell out and betray the kingdom in order to get it. However, the stuff that he does um, ends up just making him and his kingdom look better and does not help him towards his goal. So it's kind of like he's trying to fail, but he's failing so spectacularly that he's succeeding. Um, very, very interesting. Uh, this particular one only has 28 episodes, chapters. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, it updates eh, once or twice a month, it would appear. Uh, however, it hasn't updated since September 7th, as far as I know, but it's a very interesting thing. It has a lot of, like, military tactics and, like, negotiation kind of stuff that you would expect from, like, a prince having to deal with um, as various countries try to invade him and he tries to, like, deal with them and, like, get them to, uh, like, just live him, let him live a life of luxury and, like, leisure without too much of a hassle of ruling like a country, but it keeps backfiring. It's, it's hilarious uh, in a way, and I quite enjoy it. So definitely check that one out as well. But <clears throat> that'll do it for me, everyone. We'll be ending things with that one. Uh, I still have a number to talk about uh, as well, and a lot that I'm still reading. Uh, God, it, it hurts me physically when I'm reading a really great manga, and then it just ends. And I have to wait for more translation or more uh, mangaka to write the dang chapters. Uh, it sucks. I have so many, guys. You don't even understand. Like, the ones I'm talking about are like a fraction of like the... I think I have like a hundred that I'm like waiting for. Because I have ones that I'm currently reading that I have not like, caught up to. I have ones that I've caught up to that I'm up to date on that update fairly regularly... And then I also have, like, bookmarks of ones that, like, haven't updated for, like, months or, like, weeks that I'm waiting on either the mangaka to write or the translator should pick up and translate. Uh, it is driving me insane. 
I don't know why I keep picking out manga that are ongoing instead of ones that are finished, but, ugh. Anyway, that'll be all for me. Next time we're going to be talking about a couple others, and they're actually uh, quite interesting ones. So definitely pay attention to that one, because whereas these have been like normal isekai and like fantasy ones, the next ones are quite different in various ways. So look forward to that. Until next time, bye for now.